Hello guys and welcome to Dark Shield again and we're back here with German Extreme Sports character, Annika Horler. And well, we're picking up this old junker from the junkyard. We're going to have some fun today. Hello. We're meeting some friends at Sandy Shores Airport and if this wants to actually work. God damn it. Come on. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to have to try and drive this thing. That is a better option. Eat this. Let's go to F5. Let's go to vehicle spawning. Commercial. We want the flatbed. Added vehicle menu. Is a flatbed in here? This one was a flatbed in here. Uh, da, 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 da. I can't find it, so it was probably in the list. I didn't see it. We'll grab a what we're looking for here a commercial. We looked in there. Uh, we looked for flatbed industrial. There we go. MTL flatbed. Let's grab ourselves our car, which was the sedan, which was the old emperor. Rusty. Let's position our little vehicle, shall we? The objects spawning. Attached objects menu. Attached vehicles. Select this vehicle. That vehicle. And boom. Move this so it's a little bit slower so I can actually maneuver it as I need to. And we're off. Yeah. I don't know how to make the tow script work. We have a tow script for this vehicle. I can't make it work. Because I'm an idiot. So we'll go with that. So we have our uh, donor car, shall we call it, for the fun we're going to have today. Get ourselves over to the airport. Ring, ring, Danny. Ring, ring, Danny. Yes. Uh, hello there. I'm bringing the uh, car to the airport now. Um, I have it on the back of my truck, so have you all set up to go? Uh, I'll be there in a short while. Give me a moment. Okie dokie. Okay, so everyone should be arriving shortly. Get ourselves set up. Let the rest are over there by the hangar. Perfect. So, I will manoeuvre this off to where I need to. One of the nice features of the attached object menu is I can do this. Course, and I have to go da, 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 and drop it. So you guys are ready, yes? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Awesome, awesome. I think the pilot will be here shortly. He's uh, getting everything sorted there, so get myself finished off with my outfits. We're gonna go for our Bad having helmet and glasses will be goggles. Okay, so once the pilot gets here, we'll have to go through all the plan for this. We might do it a couple of times depending on who survives. But uh, it's Why kind of like an extreme powers? game of chicken, so you'll have to find out. I'm just going to move this a little bit further into the airfield so everything goes okay. Only the helicopter hanging up on building. Why are you not driving now? 
What is wrong with this vehicle? GG. This is literally not attached. I don't know why it's being a pain in the butt. Watch it still be attached to the truck. No, oh, that's broken too. Fantastic. Oh, goody. I do love it when 5M takes a massive derp on things. Great. So we'll just get ourselves another one. Vehicles, vehicles, spawner, cars, sedans. Oh, here he is. Ah, you're here. So yeah, there's something structurally wrong with that one. We can't use it, so we're using the red one behind us. Okay. So who wants to be pilot for the first run? Mr. Master. Maybe we want to take Mr. NASA Spaceman over here. Does look like a spaceman, yes. The moon. Who wants to pilot for the first run? We have a few of these cars I'm lying a around. Terrible pilot, I tell you. Who's this over here? Uh, Hello? Okay. If you want to fly for the first one, we'll get yeah, the second car and you can... I will drop you on the second run, okay? Yep. Okay, so... We need to go find the chopper and warm it up and we can get this going. I'll get it sorted. It's going to be rough and roll. Cargo bob, of course. I think we need it for the lift uh, weight. Any reaction? Ah, you're changing your hat a lot. Okay, so this is private property, so really? technically this is legal to do, but we need to be a little careful in case the policemen see it, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Maybe you want to make sure the car doesn't hit the ground on the gas tank that'd be a bit Uh, well, we'll so take the risk with it. Are we going to be staying in the car? No. <laughs> no. Uh, the plan is simple. Basically, we all get in the car. Danny will lift us with the hook on the helicopter. And uh, we're going to get lifted up to about 8,000 feet, go to drop us, and then we're going to bail out and land with a game of chicken. Basically, last one out wins. And you must survive, of course. I, I mean, I, I don't intend so, to die, but I'll try my best. Broken, broken bones are okay. Uh, Absolutely. Death is not. Got it. Death is not. We have a hospital. Yeah, we can fix broken bones, but I'll be safe. Okay, so I believe our pilot is it's getting things whirled us. up. As if nothing's going wrong with the chopper, of course. Everything fine, fine with the helicopter, or oh, okay. The delete gun script, very useful when things don't want to go away. There we go. What in tarnation? Come on! Fuck it off, asshole. I don't know what that was for. What the hell was that about? I don't yeah. know. Some asshole redneck just drives onto the airfield and starts that's shooting really... at us. And, and that's where you get found in that bad hat uh, officer. Oh, what is this? Hey, what's going on? Hey, uh, this gentleman over here on the motorcycle, he he came racing up to us, firing a pistol Why? at us. Why? Why is it before and, we even start uh, the situation? Yeah, he drive by because we just heard shots. There's yeah, he drove no over here. To be stopping us on the airfield. Hang on, he's not. It's not for us, Danny. Uh, he came driving up here and he just started shooting at us, so we punched him and knocked him out. He's all yours. All right, now I need you guys to stay since you guys punched him and knocked him out. So. Okay, yeah, like, we're about I mean, to kind of. We're a crime. No, we're not. We just it's you arrived. But we still gotta get a statement. Get shot. Okay, well I just gave uh, you my statement. My statement is that Hick tried to kill us and we fought back. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, is is this guy over here with you? Yeah, he's one of our friends. All right, all right. Uh, which one was the one that punched him? That was me. Okay, can I just talk to you over here for a minute? Yeah, sure. Alright, if you guys can right, like I, chill uh... out in the back of my vehicle over here. Out of audio range, so we can actually right, hear. Uh, so I just got here on scene. I okay. 
uh long story on. short uh we were just getting ourselves ready to go skydiving and this asshole redneck drives up on a motorcycle whips a gun out and starts shooting at us so i punched him knocked him out he's all yours okay all right um so that's the exam we do you happen to have cameras on that helicopter Since uh no we do not okay nothing all rolling right. yet uh like i said your guy was right. right behind him a moment later um there's a gun next to him he has probably got gunshot residue on his hands i do not fairly self-explanatory okay. yeah that's that's yeah, I think, I think uh, I'm gonna... Favor and just give me your, uh, your number in case I need to call. No, Danny, this is the redneck that happens. turned up. They heard the shots. Okay, yes, it's... Uh, my number is at... Yeah, 35? Friggin, uh, what's this is literally not okay. us, Danny. So we got your statement. Um, if we have to contact... If they heard the, shots, they have the shots. That's... Case, we'll, uh, we'll let you know. The shots were fired Yeah, okay, not a problem. Let's go let this other officer know. You okay. Should be good. Yeah, they're clearing off now, Danny. They literally rolled up for the shooting and saw the dead body. It was an NPC that just rocked up randomly. All right, uh, I let them, I let them both know. Uh, we're gonna text or call them if we need to investigate. Hey guys, uh, if a simple self-defense case. Not to be rude, but uh, if you are done with this and you've got him taken off to hospital, uh, do you mind clearing the airfield? We're about to be taking off soon. Oh yeah, we have yeah, the, we'll be uh, out of here in a couple seconds. Appreciate that. Route. Okay, we're good to go. Let's start pulling this thing up and get ready. Uh, we're not getting in. No. What? Let's wait till they get out of sight. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah? Excuse me. One second. We need to get out of the way. Officer. Oh, he's angry. Can you let me know when you've cleared this? Because it's dangerous for you to be downwind or anywhere near the road is when I get this started up. I think I'm being pretty calm. I'm telling you, it's dangerous to be under the damn wind of the rotors when I get it started up. So can you let me know when you clear it out of the way? No need oh, to look, there's the ambulance. It's okay. Me. I'm being calm. All right, all right. There goes the, the ambulance and tower pulling up now. Everything is okay. Jesus. I'm trying to be Thank calm. You for, uh... you being aggressive with me. Thank you, officer, for showing up and helping us with this situation. Uh, we appreciate your help. No problem. You guys have a... You have a nice day now. You too. All better. Let's rock it. Okay, everybody in the car. Shotgun. <laughs> this is going to be great. Yeah, we don't want to run over dark blue. Radio car to Rachel. aircraft. Oh, go ahead. Uh, a bit uh, out of character. Um, where do you actually want the drop-off point to be? Literally do it directly here, so we don't drift much. Uh, I would actually suggest not Desert here. beside the airfield? So, nope. behind the tower? Nope. Where do you want it? I... Two reasons. Number one, I'm going to be going over the hard deck. Number two, the fucking wind can shift that vehicle in the air. Realistically, Alamo C. Alamo C. Because that way, if you okay. guys do hit, you hit the water and the vehicle hits the water, and the worst okay, we get yeah, done, let's do that. and the vehicle sinks. If it lands and it shifts anyway, it has a chance of hitting people. Yeah, let's do the Alamo C then. Good call. Right. Okay, we're ready for lift when you are. Radio check. I'm just going to wait for us to spool up. And, yep. Yeah. Let's do this. I hope you all can swim. Out of okay. character, I was kind of hoping we could do it somewhere where the cops might see it. But that's out of character. They might, they might see it over the Alamo. Yeah. Depends how many of them are inside. I'm not doing okay, it hold like on. way out in the middle of the Alamo. I'm just no, no, doing it yeah. so that it's over the water, though. By the shore. Actually, a little alcove just where the two roads lead down to the water would be good. Okay, back two feet, back two feet. You have it, uh, back two feet, back two feet, and you got us? Yeehaw. Take us up to the ceiling, okay? Oh, this looks so cool! <laughs> Ooh, we're flying in a car. It's like Harry Potter. This is a new one for me. Yeah, welcome to Extreme Sports, the Redneck Edition, huh? Yeah, I've been stunt manning for a uh, good 15 years, and I can't say I've ever done anything like this. All right, he helo to car. 
Car receiving. All right, to win the bet, no balls. The whole, <laughs> the whole point is the last one to bail out of the car and, and hopefully survive uh, wins. This is why it. we call this skydiving chicken. <laughs> we're good to be ready. You let us know once you reach drop altitude and we're good to go. Will do. Obviously, come down and pick up any survivors. I know? would prefer it to be a surprise. Oh, a surprise? Okay, it's a surprise then. Hey, you, t you stole my thunder. I was going to say that I'd let you know when, but I only I'd let you know when after I'd released you. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Oh, this is sketchy as hell. What are we doing? Also, quick OOC. You're only allowed to do this in first person. I, I, I don't want to get motion sickness. Oh, God. No balls. <laughs> I'm in first person. No <laughs> balls. Yeah, let's do it. First person. If we could get. Look at this. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is bad. Keep looking up to work at where we dropped. Uh, is anybody else getting a little scared right now? I feel oh. sick. This is all the yeah, I'm getting a little motion sickness with the, with the way the car is swaying. You might be a little disgusted if I told you how oh, I'm God. feeling right now. Oh, uh, just don't do it in the car, okay? Uh, he loads a car. I may or may not be guilty for you swaying just by lifting a little bit, so enjoy the ride. Be careful, we're hitting your helicopter. Oh, this pilot is an asshole. I know, he can't fly very well. This is what happens when we hire the cheap pilots, you know? Hey, I'm a fucking goddamn good pilot. You're not meant to hear that, that was talking in the car. <laughs> I'm just guessing that's what you were saying. Oh, God. Uh... I can see my house from here all the way around Chinch. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Okay, so we'll be hitting oh, the high ceiling going. in a bit, so you guys better get ready. We're ready. Everything is okay here. Yeah, Everyone check the shoots. Nice. Everyone check the release. Hey, we're only going to be landing on water. So we'll be fine. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, by the way, get ready. Oh no. Uh. Are we upside down or are we right side yeah, up? Yeah, we upside down. Nope. Oh god. Oh. Oh, I'm Somebody very. Somebody revive me quick because I theoretically shouldn't have died there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, me too. Um. Yeah. Uh. uh Oh my god, everyone's dead. <laughs> Mistakes were made. If I can just get a quick revive, I can pop god mode on and swim back up. Because I shouldn't be dead. And I died again. God damn yes, it. I, need I couldn't make it to the surface. Oh. Did no one make it out the hell out no? of the car? We didn't notice because we're only first person. Oh, I, I died even before because the car hit me. <laughs> the Same. Same. Oh my god. Revive, please. Yeah, can we not have the first person thing because when it's swaying so much we couldn't see where the hell the water was? I was only joking about the first person thing. Alright, do you oh, want to we try doing it? Again? it. We'll be legit, yeah. Please revive. Uh, revive. <laughs> Turn on your god mode and then revive yourselves. That's what I do. That's what I did. Oh, I'm like six inches under. Huh? Giggity. You should both be revived now. Swim back to the shore and get back in the helicopter and try this one again. And now we make the long swim back. Indeed. Uh. Yeah, test run was not successful, but the water helped matters.
Oh, God. Yeah, that was sketchy as hell. Oh, the police are here. We better get back to the airport soon. Parachute 4 to helicopter pilot. Uh, go ahead. Cops rolling up. It's okay, they're not approaching us know. yet. Get in the chopper and let's get out of here. Get in the helicopter, we're getting out of here, okay? We'll pick up the second car at the airfield and go again. They have no reason to stop us, so it's okay. Well, I'm clear. I'm clear of multiple structures. I'm not making a noise complaint. I'm, yeah. Uh, in an open area, so. Waiting for slow coach to get in. Individual spectator. Okay, let's go. Okay, we all in. Yeah, let's go. Back to the airfield. Rock and roll, baby. We'll pick up the second junk car and we'll go again. This time, more successfully, I think. Yes, the first on, test run over water was a good idea because that could have had serious oh, uh. ramifications otherwise. Hello. Right, so let's get another one. And, yep. Drink it over water. Good suggestion. Next time, my, my I think my main advice to you all would be to actually get out of the car. They did get out of the car. Out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I it think we're just, just a little late. So much that it killed everybody. Why are the two cars now? What's everyone up to today? Uh, shenanigans. Do you have room for a wallaby? Um, not technically at the moment. A bit, we yeah. could possibly if we switched it up. What a bigger vehicle? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Limo Let's do it. Let's scene. do it. Yes. Yes, the limousine. Uh, come and join us at the airport. Sandy Shores, quick. Get here now. Uh, what for? Turn up in parachuting gear and be be quick. Uh, right. Well, give me like, you know. give me two minutes, fam. Ah, uh, nah, might be too long. Yeah. Fuck. No, we it won't be because it's fucking. Yeah, TV come on. See what Hold they want. Help me rolling in quick. There's a cargo pod here? Why? Well, is it? I didn't see that. Yeah. I never yeah. saw it. It is an airport. Hey, I mean, it um, is there any fire for there want to be one? in service today? Alright, fair what enough. What is the problem? I mean, that isn't that much of a problem, but I literally just saw Jesus this cargo Christ, you scared pod, me. Uh, yeah, so? Land on the peninsula. And, yeah. Uh, There's nothing more illegal about that. By your guys. Uh, well, he was picking us up after we landed. No, it's not. It's perfectly legal I... to do. He was clear of structures. Uh, he was not creating a noise complaint. It's perfectly able for a helicopter to land. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. I would have to consult the PM. Feel free, but there's uh, nothing wrong with it. He can land a helicopter when he's like... in an open area. Well, like I said, I'm not charging you with anything. I'm just no, I, I know you're not. No, that it would be. Uh, it would Three freaking cops. Well, he is an experienced pilot, and he actually checked the surroundings around us for where we landed, so it actually was not impeding any structures or near something that could cause damage. And uh, you know that area on the peninsula is actually a a seaplane ramp, so seaplanes come out of there all the time. It's completely safe. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. I haven't seen a single seaplane. Uh, you know. Get, take out uh, of well, it's happened a few whatever. times. Either way, let's go, guys. Once our friends here. Um, I was, I was just wondering, is that any else tow truck over there? Uh, yeah, that's us. Oh, yeah, okay, I, I got a call saying there's an abandoned tow truck, and I was just seeing if that was any else or something. Oh, it's not abandoned. No, it's it's ours from the scrapyard. Yeah, oh, okay, no worries. Not a problem. Yeah, before we go, one one last thing. Yeah. I uh, I heard you guys had a. Vehicle attached under that, underneath that cargo bob. Again, yes. Problem. Um, not much, not that much of a problem. But uh, judging you guys were flying over LMOC, and when you emerge from the LMOC, the 
vehicle is no longer mm -hmm. attached to said cargo, Bob, which... Hey, you should be a police you officer. Know. You can make great deductions. Uh, what I'm saying is that you could hit someone down there in MLMOC, and at that point we're talking reckless endangerment. I just want to inform you guys of the fact it's that... It almost seems right. like you want All to right. get us arrested for something, doesn't it? No, I just don't want you Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. I don't want you guys to endanger anyone or yourselves. Okay, it, so you aren't actually asking us. Easy, you're, hang on, officer. You, officer, you're you're, you're starting out here by you're off starting out here by threatening us with laws and things you could arrest us for, rather than asking what we're doing. You're not asking I if we guess. have any safe. No, hang on. Let me finish. You're not asking if we have safety procedures or protocols in place, or anything saying we could do it. Yeah. Okay. We're dropping a car with parachutists in it, which is done actually quite a lot. We make sure the area of the lake we're dropping into is actually clear of boats. There are marker boys out there to signify it is a no entry area for vessels. We're following the laws. I mean, if you're doing that, that's, you know, fine by me. You just I didn't ask me first. You guys. Yeah, because it's not every day that you see people actually. No, it is not. Permits for that kind of stuff. I'm not even sure. It doesn't require permits as long as we actually take was, the, was there an emergency that you had to land on the Palencina? No, there isn't. And it's not against the law to do so. Not allowed to okay. land any aircraft on any area unless it's an emergency. That's not intended for aircraft. Um, aircraft possibly, helicopter not so much. So you're telling me helicopter is not an And they're both air, air... I mean, how many times have you seen, like, helicopters landing, uh... You know, Quite a lot, actually. In, like, sports fields? Well, I've seen you guys. So then I, that's why I'm talking to you. Guys. Oh no, fair enough. I mean, we don't. Helicopters that land in the supposed, you know, sports field. There's nothing particularly wrong with that location. It's not close to buildings. It's not close to obstructions. There's no reason for a noise complaint. Uh, perfectly safe. Yes. Like I said. The Pino code is very clear about that. Aircraft may not land on any location not intended for the operation of aircraft except in an emergency. Right. That's but that also refers to aircraft like landing on a road or something. I'm not talking about a helicopter setting down to pick people up. It didn't ever shut down the engine, so. If you wanted to hover two feet uh, over the ground next time, you could do that, can't you? You're a good pilot. Well, this is more right, irritating whatever. than I expected. Like I said, next time, just get Officer, yourself some proper excuse me. transit. Well, well, before you yes. talk to the rest of these people, wait, hold on. You need to be talking to me. I'm the pilot. Okay. All right. Now, the owner of the marina, okay, you know the old the old marina uh, building down there. We already applied for permission for any any extraneous pickups because we're going to be doing skydive drops over the Alamo Sea above the 500 feet hard deck, and the owner of the marina explicitly we got permission from them to be doing a pickup by the marina on the shoal which is technically part of their property doesn't count as a noise complaint now if you look in the penal code then it states that aircraft may not land on any other pro any place that isn't designated for an aircraft exceptions are a law enforcement or with the express permission of the owner of private property that owner it gave us permission to land on there, which is why it's only on that little peninsula that we landed on and made sure we were above the 500 feet hard deck before and after I landed. He has a you point. You want to see my logbook? You want to see my pilot's license? You want to see my civil aviation authority? I've got it all inside there, sir, and I've not been flying for more than two hours today. Everything else you need to check up, you should be checked up with the FAA and the local council. Like I said, gotcha. if you got a, if you got that, um... If you've got some sort of agreement with the owner of the marina, sure, but uh, if you are going to claim that, I'm going to have to see some sort of proof of that, sir. Absolutely, sir. You know what? I'm going to go over there and I'm going to make sure that I get all that all that set up. I've got all the details. I've got all the paperwork. You want to pull pull this out of your ass, then we'll do it, okay? <laughs> but at the end of the day, you, at the end of the day, as a police officer, you know that if you're going to be dealing with anything, you should be dealing with the person who landed. You don't talk to a passenger in a vehicle about a traffic stop. You talk to the driver. But okay, you want to pull the other people? You come and speak to the pilot. That's who you speak to. Ooh, he's angry. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go check the car. Hey, shotgun. Got him. One eternity later.
Okay, so we're back. Some of and, my uh, stunts that have gone wrong have led to serious head trauma, so just just forgive me. We can tell, it's fine. Oh, after the 45 minute interaction with the police, we decided to pull the doors off the limousine while we waited, lighten the load and make it easier to get out this time. I can fly the chopper um, on the next one if the pilot needs to take a, wants to get in on this. Absolutely. So yes, now this time we're going to be uh, dropping because the previous helicopter broke because of 5M. But this so, is a lesson for anyone, always remember, before you do any situation like this, especially when it comes to flying, read the penal code beforehand so yeah. that they can't screw you on it. Oh, they will always try. I always do. Oh, here they come again. Not off, Porky. Don't tear off from your helmet. You're not on a dirt track race. You're in the back of a limousine. This is actually the uh, my character's dirt track racing helmet. So fuck off. <laughs> I'm being serious. I roll around a trophy truck with this character at the uh, track. You think you're playing at the ball hand now? Let's do it. Okay, we're hooked. Oh, yeehaw! Yeehaw! Damn, that hook is as you Americans say. I thought it was. I thought it was yeet yeet. No, no. That just sounds strange. I know. <laughs> I thought it would signify we are in a, in a hazardous condition. You know. Everybody just make sure you're wearing your seatbelts before you drop this, otherwise you might just fall out the damn way. Well, maybe, but also, I wouldn't want to leave them on. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Once we get up high enough, I'll take it off, but for right now, I don't trust this. I don't think you should trust this. Oh, Maybe this is such a bad idea. Uh, yes, it should. It also becomes a fucking wind tunnel. I still think we should drop it to the sheriff's station after they were assholes to us. I know a guy that might set it on fire. Maybe jump on their roof. Yeah, we could land on their roof if uh, we get out in time. I've, I've had one reckless and. Yeah, I don't want okay. to be charged with that either, so I think I'm probably just going to wingsuit on over to the uh, airfield again. Not a bad idea. Anyway, let's get ready this time. Let's make sure you bail out in time, this one. Okay, so we're nearly heading towards the drop altitude. Reminder, God mode on unless you intend on getting killed. Let's do it, once he's ready. I don't think we're quite high enough yet, we're not above cloud cover. We still got a ways to go. Shit, I used to do this shit out of planes in the military, but damn, now I'm doing it out of limos, what the hell? Welcome to this private sector, I guess. Shit, is this what they do? No, oh, why not? Oh yeah, the limo's swinging. Oh yes. If the limousine is rocking, do not come a-knocking. I don't know, you ever done an overboard, uh... Oh god. An overboard, uh, training on a, off the bow of an aircraft carrier? That's some intense shit, man. Yeah, I can imagine. I don't know, but, uh, the way this thing's swaying around, it reminds me of a barn up in a modified, so, you know. Jumping out of a perfectly good plane with a parachute doesn't really scare me, but jumping off a perfectly good ship without a life jacket or any other modes of survival is always a fucking terrifying. What about dropping from a perfectly good helicopter in a not so perfectly good limousine? Well, I'll give you that. It's perfectly it's fine. We just need more. Oh, this is and over. This is over oh, land, oh I think. My. Oh, we're going. We're go oh god, we're Here going. We go. He loads a car. By the way, I'm gonna drop you. Uh, a little late now. Okay, time to leave. Time to leave. Go, go, Bye. go, go, go. Oh, they died. 
I think most of them were down with the car. You know what? I wasn't going to play chicken there because they all failed. I think one opened a little lower. Green oh, shooting is landed. Blue is about to come in for landing. Orange well, shoots in the water and I'm swimming over. I think some people might have died. Uh, I'm good. I was the last one out. Hey, we made it. On the jump team. Check <laughs> I think I pulled mine literally just in time. Annika, check. Oh, here they come again. Steven, check. Here they come again. Green suit, check. Kyra, check. Hey, what's up? Give me one second. I just, I saw, I thought, I thought I saw something, but I just need to check on this really quick. Anything in you particular you think you saw? Don't swim to the cops. Might swim just to the helicopter. Being paranoid, but. No, what's up? Thought I saw something far, far from the sky. Yes, you did. I want you getting that out of the water like before you get what near the that? rotors. It was all of us parachuting. Well, no, it, it didn't look like a person. Uh, it might have been a car. Okay, that that would make sense. Yes, it was a uh, limousine, an old scrap drop... limousine. Okay, all right. Um, you just want to stay here with me for a second. Uh. Yes. Guess what? They're giving me crap again. Green shoot to any other parachutes where you guys Just at? for reference, officer, we had got an area cordoned off to stop uh, our traffic. We're in the helicopter. At, uh, we have all the paperwork. At the Got arena. everyone here? No. Uh, no, we're missing I'm one. dealing with the bloody first. The cops. Uh, whereabouts are you, man? I'm literally looked to your starboard side, next to the blue and red flashing thing. Oh, is that you? St I thought that was the officer. What, what, no, what are you getting uh, pulled I over for? Officers, you should be good to go. They just okay, thank you. What you guys were talking to him about earlier. Yeah, thank yep, you very yep. much. At least it left us this time. Well, that was fun, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed a bit of derp What was this the time. problem this time? Oh, uh, he wasn't sure what it would be doing. He thought he saw something fall. It's okay. Well, that was a lot of fun, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It was a little derpy and silly, but... Yeah, I did everything. Hey, it was a bit of fun. They're doing the jobs, huh? Oh, yes. They're definitely active and doing a, a, their job, I suppose. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Like I say, subscribe, I mean, hit the thumbs up, bell notification out, button. Stuff, they don't even show. That way you can see the videos I post every weekday. Thanks for watching, and oh if we don't die landing... Bye.